social media campaign as well. Um, mm -hmm. So it's really the year where we're saying we really need to be safe and vulnerable. The other uh, topic that we're talking a lot about in the campaign is pedestrian. Because we hear a lot from pedestrian uh, with cyclists on the campaign. So that's going to be one of the big four topics. Sorry, that was a long answer. Yeah, Nicole, yes. that was a great answer, and you're very buttoned up. I want to underscore this gentleman's concern. My wife and I are joggers. Yeah. I'm not afraid of getting hit by a car. No. I'm afraid of getting <laughs> nailed by a bicycle. Yeah. And, it, and I'm not exaggerating when I tell you this. There's not a day that goes by that just, I don't come in a, to a close call. Yeah. They, they have absolutely no respect for the traffic rules. And I'm telling you, just go. Go stand by Fano Hall on that road yeah. where it, it's out of control. And it's a great point. I think, and this is hard to believe, I think a lot of cyclists did not get it up until this year, but now the heads of all the advocacy groups are getting it. And one thing we've been emphasizing is, look, if you are a pedestrian and you're here and I'm on a bike, if I bike by at 20 miles an hour at this distance, as a cyclist, that seems fine. But as a pedestrian, it's terrifying. And I challenge people, and I did it myself, I walked along the southwest corridor, which is essentially like that, and you feel the cyclists is divine, it's terrifying. So really, working with the cyclists, give the pedestrian spaces and give them free feet, and it's all the ways. You couldn't be more right, but I think the message is just starting to change. I'm just curious, in the North End we have a lot of one-way streets. Yes. And so when you put those markers, the bikes are supposed to follow the traffic rules the same as the cars. Absolutely. Do you really expect the bike fleets to go around the block? They're just going to go the other way. They're not going to care. Uh, they, on Salem, they're probably, well, I shouldn't say they're probably not that dumb because you never know they could be. One of the things that uh, the research has shown with this, um, all of these markings have gone through extensive research. They ended up putting the two chevrons here, uh, which doesn't seem like much, but it really is a sign to cyclists to go in this direction. But they, but once they've gone that way, if yeah. they were going there, they're gonna, not going to go in a neighborhood like here yeah. with the, a lot of one-way streets. They're not when they're in a rush and stuff. They're going to do just like they do now. They'll just go whatever direction is convenient. This should it won't take care of everything. This should reduce the one-way wrong riding some. Um, most cyclists do have different routes. It's a, it's a completely one-way city, so most cyclists do take different routes to go one way versus the other. Um, and the care for this, depending on where they are, is Hanover, which is not great, or going around on North Washington. We're putting in uh, bike lanes on North Washington this year. Um, is there any requirement or will there be some information about how and where bicycles can store their bikes if they're not in their apartments? Because in this neighborhood, they're changing a lot of the private property and Call the mayor's hotline anytime you see that, and you can also CC me. So if it doesn't get removed, put the city can tag and then remove it. It's a problem we're hoping to reduce. We haven't been successful putting in bike racks on the city, uh, in the like that, because the sidewalks are so narrow. Uh, but you can call the hotline anytime. Yeah, I, I, because our sidewalks are narrow, I don't think they can have bike racks, but can some of the parking garages be approached? And, I mean, people who own right. cars have to find legitimate parking, and I think if there are more and more bicycles, they should have the same responsibility. Yeah, um, that's, a, that's a good point. We've been working with the government some driving to find something closer. We always balance, and you guys might have the answer, parking is a premium thing on that. But then in South Boston, it's, you know, it's the hardest thing. In, in Austin, right, we've actually removed a parking spot and put it in on street by Corel, but we're not proposing that here. Um, unless I want to run out. Break the JCB! I have a question. Yes. There was a proposal to put a hubway station to the middle of North Square, but it's not real over too big with the membership. I get has that been decided? Um, that has disappeared off the north end. <laughs> um, so that will not be um, it, it sounded like it was 19 like against uh, out of 20, so we decided that maybe the neighborhood did not want it. So that was not a hard decision. Uh, Robin? Hi, Robin, uh, Battery Street. I'm going to expose myself as a bicyclist. I oh, commute wow. to work and have commuted to work for 10 years on my bike. Um, I want to uh, thank the city for doing as much to the bicyclists as they have. Um, over the 10 years, it's become incredibly much safer to ride the bike. 
those uh, markings on the street have helped legitimize my uh, presence on the street, and it has helped me. And I am one of I wear a helmet, I wear lights, I wear clothing, and I do follow the rules of the road. Um, it helps me actually approach other bicyclists when they're coming the wrong way, and I will say, "You're in the wrong way," <laughs> because they're a danger to me as well. Um, and I, I don't like the idea that people assume we're all bad bicyclists because there are a number of people who are not following them. Um, but there are good bicyclists out there, and there are bad joggers out there that run that run in the the bike lanes. Um, but I want to thank the city. Uh, but I just want to thank the city for making it um, a much safer. And your bike Fridays are wonderful. Thank you. Uh, a quick yes. question. Uh, you refer to a report. Is there some way we can get a look at it? Cityofboston.gov/bikes. Um, all the reports are at the bottom, and you'll see the 2013 crash report. Uh, it was. Uh, a landmark report. I don't think any city has done something quite as extensive. Uh, what we learned, though, is there's no magic bullet uh, doing everything for safety you know, that we can think of. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.